Harper takes it. Pippen to the hole. Or hold. That's a combination of hoop and hold to the fool. Don't use that, Zeke. He went there, too. He, he went any place <laughs> he wanted to go and got the hoop. Fool score the next one. Hornacek has it. It'll be Stockton who has 15. What a great pass, Isaiah, on that give and go to the top. You fall asleep a little bit. And Hornacek finally gets off here with a layup. 0 for 4 in the first half. Now that's the Utah I know. Half court execution, perfect screen, back cut layup. That's the way they need to play in order to win this game. Harper into the lane. Tried to find Rodman. Poked away to Pippen. And his three is no good. Rodman with board position. Michael hits the open three. And... Luke Longley is now back into the game with Dennis Rodman, so now he's matched up against Carl Malone once again. Remember, he got three quick fouls in the first half trying to guard Carl Malone. Here's Foster, deals to Russell, drives on Pippen, and it's a tough hoop. Russell's got game. He'll take it to the basket. He'll shoot the three on you. He's a good defender. Longley inside off a nice feed. See, when you come to double Michael Jordan with size, that time Foster came to double team, Luke Longley followed him right to the basket and got the easy layup. But Jerry Sloan's not happy because Carl Malone's supposed to pick up that cutter and did not do it. Longley's first basket. Malone over Longley. Rotman has the rebound. Trying to play through some pain. There's no question that thumb is bothering him. Chicago has baited Carl Malone into a jump shooting game. He must get back into the post. Jordan, turn around on Hornacek. Rebound Longley, and there's the follow. So Longley with a contribution here, midway through the third. Isaiah, I agree with you. They've got to establish Carl Malone down in that paint. That's where he's lived all season long, and he's been a jump shooter the entire night. Stockton. To Foster, who hits the jumper. See, with the way they started the game, the first half, running, I don't know if Carl Malone lost his rhythm, and they played him out of the game. Now he's got to try to get back involved. Longley drops it off to the driving Pippen, who had to change the shot, but was good enough last to do time. Russell. To Malone. He takes it to the basket and scores around Longley. Trying to get himself on track offensively here. That was great ball movement, and Carl Malone did the right thing. Drive it to the front of the rim and score. Jordan. On a sec up on him. With the left hand, he leans into the lane and tosses it home. Now, this is danger time for Utah because at the end of the game, in the closing moment, Chicago has three players that can get their own shot off the dribble, and Utah only has one in Malone. Kukoc swings it to Longley. Outside Kerr splits the defense, but trying to get rid of it to Kukoc has it picked off by Russell. Ahead to Stockton, now Malone. Malone wasn't about to miss that one. 22nd time out. you got to keep taking the shots. He took his time this time. This is a good look at the basket. you got to think that Carl Malone, an MVP candidate this year, and last year the MVP will eventually make those shots. Eventually they will go down for you. You just have to have enough nerve and enough heart to keep shooting the basketball. He'll take it to the basket and slam it. Utah by seven. 4.38 remaining in the fourth. We move inside four minutes. Utah by seven. Michael, good luck. And he puts it down. 28. Jordan from 20. Good again. 
Now, when Jordan shot that shot, he turned around and made a little sound and just said, woo, I think he's in a rhythm right now because he shot that one right through the net. It gives him 30. Longley up on Malone. He'll try the jumper again, and he'll miss it again. Pippen has it. They can tie with a three. Jordan just screamed at Pippen. He wants the basketball. Scotty to tie. Brand new game. And Jordan came down again and told Pippen, get it to me in the post. Stopped in trying to get it to Malone in the post. He fires again and finally hits one. And John Stockton looked at him and said, look, you're our guy. Take us home. They come to their feet. Every last soul at the Delta Center. Stockton. Shot clock winding down. Malone has to. Two in a row. And what a time to come alive. Michael on the move. Can't tie it. Pippen on the offensive glass. Ask for a timeout. As he's surrounded on the Pippen curve. Out on the floor with him. It's Scotty back to Michael. Russell's on him. Around the Longley screen. Michael. Dishes too longly. Up with the shot to tie the game. Timeout Utah with 14.3 seconds, even at 79. If Russell stepping in and receiving a pass back if he turns his back. Russell into Hornacek. Now it's stopped it. Out of the corner for the win. Bounces off no good. And it's overtime. In it's overtime right now, the way these teams are shooting and defending. Malone from Stockton all the way to the basket. Dennis Rodman a little slow in his rotation. Had he gotten there one step quicker, it would have been an offensive foul on Malone, but great execution. 21 for Malone. Hooked away by Hornacek. Taken by Stockton, who's chased by Jordan, but plays it in anyway. And he was fouled by Kerr. Here's Michael. Has to regain control of the dribble. Now drives on Russell. And can't hit it. Longley, though, pulls it down. And Michael wants that basketball back again. Pippen flips it to him. Turn around, fade away. Got it. At 33. That's amazing. What this man can do under pressure. Longley. Oster tag up on him. Puts it on the floor, tries to go to the hoop, lost it. And Russell dives to the floor to pick it up, and he gets the timeout. Chicago doesn't have to foul because of the overlap. It's Stockton on the run, and it's Utah by four. Chicago uses its last timeout with 9.3 seconds remaining in overtime. Eight assists. Kukoc looking to get it in. Jordan back to Kukoc. They need a three. And Kukoc delivers it with 5.4 seconds, bringing them to within one and allowing them to foul. They immediately grab Russell. Jordan does it. Shakes his hand to indicate it was unintentional, rather strategic. 4.8. Malone into Stockton. And he dribbles a bit of time off the clock before they can catch him and foul. Coach down to Michael with Russell on him. He tips it to Pippen. Can he beat the horn? He can, but he misses it. And game one goes to Utah in overtime. A game they had to sweat to win with their best player having a subpar night.